Aston Villa 2, Crystal Palace 0. You watch this game? Did you see any of any of this game? Yeah, I watched the highlight. I watch the highlight of this game. And oh. it was a very good victory for Aston Villa too. It's very big, important. Big, big victory, man. They needed this. In the um in the earlier half, Crystal Palace score, Saka score, Eda, and then VR can see you. That Do you Malik think it should have been shoulder. a goal? Yeah, I think it should be a goal because that was him shoulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoulder, I think not so him too. hand. I think shoulder so. and that because when Crystal Palace score, I see mm. the um, Aston Villa manager all on the made and yeah, you know yeah, frustrated yeah. because he must say yet yeah, we fall like fall behind again. And from there, mm. from there. Aston Villa just start to run right at Crystal Palace. Because, Ryan, the other thing, eh? because, remember, if Palace had scored, it would have been a total different game. It would have been a total different game here. Did you see the fight between Zaha, Tyrone Mings, and Sako in the, in the, in the highlight? That you, did they show that in the highlights? No, they did not show Yeah, that. well, there was a little scuffle. Um, Zaha... I think he fouled one of the um or he him and one of the um the Aston Villa defender got tangled up a bit and Tyrone Ming stepped to him and you know Zaha you know Zaha is a bad boy Zaha didn't back down and you know the referee had to come they had to break it up and they both got yellow cards Sacco even got involved and he got a yellow card too so that was um a big thing in the game but that all that happened before Trezeguet the Egyptian scored the first goal and it was in First half, um, extra time. Really, really good goal there to put Villa 1-0 up. So that was good because Crystal Palace won the, the reverse fixture. And for Villa, who has been struggling to score the first goal, it gave them the impetus to come back in the second half and do the business. Second half. Early on in the second half, Grealish taken down. You know, Grealish is fouled heavily, taken down. Supposedly taken down by Van Aanholt. But... Penalty was given via our review, and it was deemed not to be a penalty. Did you see that one? No, I did not see that one. Yeah, you see, you, you missed it in the, in the replay. But that's why it's good if one person watched, and, you know, so, so we could get insight. It was not a penalty, and I think it was the right call by VR. So at least they did the, biz they, they did, they did the business. They did what they were supposed to do there. That's what VR is for. But there was a big save by Guaita from Konza, Konza header. And right after that, a few seconds later, Trezeguet, the Egyptian, showing up when Mohamed Salah fails to do, fails to do so. He scored the winner. He scored the winner for Villa. 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. Awesome. Well-deserved win, man. They played. They came. They played how they were supposed to be playing all season. All season. Definitely. Do you think now, Ryan, do you think... We don't want to stay on this too long, but do you think right now they go up to 30 points? Do you think they stand a very slight chance of surviving? Because, wait, Dean Smith said he's approaching this as a final. Every game is a final, like a cup match. Every game, they want to get to the final to survive. Any thoughts on that? I think, honestly, I think um, Aston Villa always making a lot of um, mistakes at the back. And to see they get a clean sheet, they can build upon that. But I think, in my honest opinion, I think it's going to be too late for Aston Villa. Yeah, it, it could Believe be too, it too late. late. Because they have Everton next, West Ham. Oh, man, that's a... Look, West Ham have some big, big games, you know. What for we, we, Aston West Ham have some team that don't, they're going to play down in the... Um, we're right around it. Exactly. Relegate, it's a relegation battle. So West Ham have Watford. They have United. Oh, man. West Ham. West Ham. Oh, man. Their back's against the wall here. They have to put their They have to do something. They have to do something big. But Villa, Everton, Arsenal, West Ham. If, look, Villa's destiny is in their own hands. They have to win all three games. I think they have to win all three or at least win two. If they fail to win... One, if they fail to, to, to pick up, if, let's say they pick up four points. I don't think four points would be enough at all. And from what I heard, the commentators were saying, they, 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 were, they were showing the, the owner on the, the, the screen. I think he's the owner or whatever. But it would be a 200 million pound catastrophe if they go down. So a lot is on the line, man. A lot is, a lot is on the line. If, and if they could do what they did today, it could actually be, you know what I mean? They could actually 
pull off the, the great escape. Before we go on, Ben Tiki, he picked up a second yellow and he received a red in this game. Picked up a yellow early on. I think, um, I can't remember exactly when he did, but he picked up two. I, I, look, this thing happened as soon as the whistle blew. To, so to be completely honest, I don't even know what exactly happened there. Did you catch any of that in the highlights? Yeah, I see him get red card. I see him get Was red it card. a straight red or yellow? The, what happened, the highlight just cut it off right after. The, 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 it I was think a it shot, was a uh, second yellow, you know. He did something silly early on in the game and picked up a yellow and then he got a, a second yellow. So Villa's last three games against Everton, as I said, they did pick up a win against Everton early on in the season. Arsenal, they lost against Arsenal. And West Ham, they picked up a draw. Four points is not going to be enough. They need to win all their games. Crystal Palace, they're struggling. They have lost their last five matches. That's crazy, right? Because yeah, from, remember, we, they, yeah. They was on farm. Exactly. In Liverpool, they was on farm. Same farm Liverpool have. And they, they had like four wins they in just, a row. Yeah. They were good. But one question before we move on, though. Do you, I'm going to ask you a question. Mm. Who, who is the most forward player in the English Premier League? Jack Grealish. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And before we do move on, Ryan, some news for you. A 12-year-old kid, I don't know if it's a boy or girl, was arrested. It's a, it's a boy, man. It's a boy, man. Yeah, for arrested some... racist post towards Wilfred Zaha. That's with, like, come on, these kids need to chill. In the DM, in the DM. It's a yeah. culture thing, bro. We are, it, it, this thing, to tackle this thing, you're not going to change... Overall, it has to it has to start from grassroots, the education exactly. of the kids. Because both of us, black and white, we need to get more teaching, bro. We need exactly. to get more teaching. And it has to start from the, the grassroots coming up. Well said. Well said, Ryan. Well said. But we won't talk too much more about Crystal Palace. They're not really playing for nothing. They have survived already. Great job by Hodgson. They just have to build. The team is old. They need to recruit some new players and go again. 